Today we're going to be installing the Trex Rain Escapes under deck water protection system. This uh, system actually installs pretty easily and is used to help keep the space underneath your deck dry. So today we're going to show you a few installation techniques and hopefully the finished product. We're using the Trex Rain Escapes here to give a third sort of parking area for the cars that's going to be dry. So it'll act almost as a carport underneath the deck and keep the area dry underneath. The one thing that I really like most about this system is that it actually goes on above all of the framing components of the deck so you don't have any trapped moisture within the framing cavity of the deck. Most other systems mount below the deck framing so you end up with a cavity between the joists and the underside of your floor which would hold water and moisture and would prematurely rot out the structure of your deck. Whereas with the Trex Rain Escapes, because it mounts on above all of your framing and goes on before your flooring goes down, it protects your structure of your deck actually quite a bit more. And it'll give you quite a long lasting framework for your deck. Doing a little water test. So now we have to tape the overlap between the two different membranes. This is from underneath the deck looking up at the drainage system. And all the water is going to go from the house out to the front and drain out through all these little collection units. So every joist cavity gets one of these collection units to grab all the water from the deck and drain it down into an eave trough that will go in later on. Well, I guess today is a good day to check out to see if the Trex Rain Escapes under deck water protection system is working because it's kind of raining a little bit. So I thought I'd come by and see. We're not quite finished this deck yet, but uh, we can check out if it's draining any water. I don't know if it's raining hard enough yet. Yeah, a little bit's coming out. Now ah, they're starting to drip pretty good. However, all the joists underneath are nice and dry. Space underneath the deck is nice and dry. This is where the trough membrane joins into the collection unit and drains out on the other side of the beam where a eave trough will go.